fastball on tap. It's the Baltimore Orioles going up against the Chicago White Sox. First pitch coming your way next. So two away with nobody on. And up next for Chicago, Jay Mack. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Pop dump. Kira under it. Puts the squeeze on it. And that is that. All right, let's go. Come One on, this down. is you. This is you. Jay Mack getting ready to hit. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring Look position. Here. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. And first offering is fouled off. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there are two outs. And next to hit for the Sox, Jay Mack. This now guy back. with light tower look power. Yeah. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. That one ripped. Get up, Paul. Get up. And gone! They're going crazy in the dugout, and they lead it. It's 6-5. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there. Jay Mack steps to the plate for the White Sox. Oh, it's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot yeah. defensively, but runs yeah. pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Pitch misses inside. 1 and 0. Oh. Hey, one pitch right here. Come on now. Righty delivers. Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way, if it's fair, out of here. Another homer, his 22nd homer of the year, and we're level. It's 8-8. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark you want to bottle that type of approach no outs runner at first and now JP Crawford known for his late inning heroics he's going here's the pitch run around the goal Strike in there. Throw. Save. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. The batter, the center fielder, Cedric. And a pitch. Mullins. Room, room, buddy, room, room. And there are two down. The batter, the right fielder. Julio Rodriguez. 
Here in the bottom of the ninth, one out. Now it's the White Sox catcher, Jay Mack. The catcher. Good contact guy, good defender. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Swing, and that ball oh, smashed on the line. And it hits the fence. The throw is wild, and it gets away. And he's got no chance. He's out. And the final here today, 9-8. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chambi saying so long from the south side of Chicago.